Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kat, the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate it. Today is going to be another one of my favorite videos to make, as well as the most well-received by my community. So this is another high dollar what sold. Everything I'm going to show you, I sold myself in this video in the last two weeks. So a very recent period in March, 2021, these items made me thousands of dollars of profit in less than a month. So let's take a look at what sold. And Dalton just woke up, so hopefully I will be able to get through this. So first up is going to be a vintage glass pitcher. I believe this was Blinko, but I wasn't sure. So you'll see in the title, I did put a question mark. If I think an item or a certain brand, but I'm not sure, I do have that question mark in just to let people know I'm not 100%. And this one I got in a online auction lot. I paid less than $5. It sold for $39 or $34.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $49.99 all in. And that is going to be about a $27 profit on a little glass pitcher. This was only seven inches. So it's pretty small and keep an eye out for colored glass. Look at the bottom, see if they're marked. If they're marked or signed, it's going to sell for a lot. Next more. is a book. This is a Stephen King book and I've sold multiple Stephen King books in the last couple months. I bought a big Stephen King lot off an auction and they can sell really high. So if you see Stephen King, some more even paperback, but if, especially hardback books, look and see this one was not a first edition but if you do find a first edition they are worth a lot more this one sold for 44.99 plus shipping the buyer was 51.35 all in and that will be right at a 40 dollars profit for us and this sold in less than two months so they sell fast and they are a great profit up next this is three pairs of work pants i paid a dollar each for at my little local thrift store so work pants are a great thing to keep an eye out for because you might be able to find them cheap at garage sales or thrift stores such as Goodwill. And these three sold for $30 plus $20 shipping. So the buyer's $50 all in and that is over a $25 profit for us on something that is very easy to list, photograph, very easy to ship and this is not gonna break. Up next, these are three rolls of wallpaper that I got. I paid a dollar each for these rolls. They are vintage wallpaper. Some will sell fast, but this took almost a year. So these three, I paid $3 for the rolls. They sold for $37.47 plus shipping. The buyer was $60.47 all in. And we will make about a $30 profit on those. If you see new, especially like bright or, you know, like kind of loud prints, those will sell very fast. Up next, this is a Capa di Monte little bitty trinket box and I did get this at a little local thrift store it's actually in my last thrift haul video that I put out I want to say like a month ago it did not take very long for this to sell I only paid four dollars for it sold for fifty dollars plus shipping the buyer was sixty two dollars and thirty five cents all in again all of these things that I am showing you are from buy it now prices. I did not do any auctions. So this one I did get quite a few lower offers, but I knew that it would sell for my asking price or close to it. I held out and then result, I got over a $40 profit. So check the bottoms of trinket boxes. I've sold a lot of trinket boxes for 50 plus dollars and look up the names if you are not familiar with them. They are a great thing to add to your bundle of knowledge of higher priced items and this is source. another item that i kept getting low offers on and i held out so don't always think that you have to accept those offers if you know your item is worth the money you're asking just decline and wait and that is what i did this bowl was listed at 50. i did end up taking an offer of 42.49 plus shipping the buyer was 64 dollars and 12 cents all in it is a delft blue 10 inch footed bowl there were no comps but smaller Delft Blue items sell for like $15, $20, $25. So 
So I priced high at 50 and somebody sent me that offer of 42.49 and I accepted. Next, this is a really fun mid-century modern mesh lamp and it did take a while to sell. And sometimes when you buy stuff that's kind of out there or different and you can't find comps, it might take a little while to find the right buyer for these items. So don't get discouraged if your items are taking a little bit longer to sell. It can take a while. So this one, I paid $20 for it at an online auction. It sold for $50 plus shipping. The buyer was $64.54 all in, and we'll make about a $25 profit on it. This is a head vase, and this is for me watching other content creators. I was watching my friend Jocelyn, who is a crazy lamp lady, if you are not aware, and she picks up these head vases all the time. I had no idea what they were, but when I saw one at the flea market, I knew what it was. That's why these videos are so important to increasing your knowledge and learning things. And it kind of goes in the back of your mind, like, oh, wait, hey, so-and-so sold that for good money. I should check this out. And it might not be the exact same item, but if it's similar and it's in your head and you know that somebody else sold that, you can look it up and comp it for yourself. So this one sold for $49.99 plus shipping. The buyer's $64.99 all in. I did pay $8 for that at my local flea market, but that will still be over a $40 profit. And if you guys are interested in having me help you personally source, I do have a membership level below. It is the mid membership level. And I actually take your zip code and find items live for you specifically. I do that two times a month for that group. So definitely click the join button below, look at the levels of membership and that mid-level of membership, which is $9.99, I will find you items. If you are in that group now, please share in the comments below with others your experience and if you have been able to find items through that to sell for good profits. I think it is a great way if you are not that comfortable or not that experienced in sourcing or you're looking for a different way to find things because that is through online auctions. Up next, I was less than a dollar into this item. I bought the whole linen closet, which I love yeah. doing in online estate auctions. And this is Laura Ashley. It is a vintage bed skirt. It is plain white, but it had lace on it. And this Again, less than a dollar in, sold for $50 plus shipping. The buyer was $65.38 all in on that. And it sold in less than two weeks. It sold very fast. There are not very many available. And the demand for some of these vintage linens is very high. Next is a vintage Harley hat. I picked this up at a garage sale for $1. This one sold for $50 plus shipping. It did go international. The buyer was $67 all in on an old faded hat. So don't, don't overlook those hats while you are outsourcing. I love finding hats for a dollar and flipping them for 15 upwards of 60, 70 dollars. This is an open box orbit timer and I actually found a couple of these at garage sales. This one though came from my friend Pepper. It was something that she had had for a while that she had not sold and this one sold for $34.99 plus international shipping. The buyer was $67.99 all in. I only have a couple dollars invested and that is about a $30 profit on that. I also will say the shipping that is going to be popping up on the screen is going to be if I shipped it to myself. What I am telling you is what the buyer actually paid to me. And for some reason, when you take screenshots, it shows what the shipping would cost shipping to yourself. It's going to be a vintage polar bear figurine. This is Ansley, which you might be familiar with for their teacups, but this is a polar bear. And I got this in a lot and didn't even pay it any mind. But when I looked through stuff closer and saw that Ansley, I knew it might be worth something. This one sold in under a month for $44 and at 99 cents plus shipping. The buyer is $69 and 33 cents all in on that. And I was in the lot probably close to $5, but this is well over a $40 profit for us. And it sold really fast. So check your figurines. Most of them will be marked or signed. 
either at the base of the figurine or on the bottom and look them up. This had a few listed and it had some sold. So I was able to tell that it would sell up next. And I am going to show you this and I will tell you it is being returned. So, and I think it's ridiculous why they're returning it. This is a vintage Prince Matcha Belly perfume set sold in under a week. So I'm sure it will sell really fast once I get it back. It is a bunch of little samplers. Prince Matcha Belly is a popular perfume brand. This one sold for 50 plus shipping. The buyer was $69.95 all in. And they're returning it because there was a small tear in the top of the lid and the plastic was ripped. This is like a 20 plus year old perfume set. And I did not notice a tear in the lid and hopefully these people aren't tricking me so that is coming back i got the return request this morning but i have no doubt that it will sell for the same amount or more as soon as i get next back. is going to be a lenicia um this i think was done kind of in conjunction with swarovski it is Minnie mouse which of course you know disney stuff sells the, then when you put in swarovski with disney then you've got a way better item so i paid less than five bucks for this little mini and she sold for 49.99 plus shipping the buyer was 69 dollars and 99 cents all in so well over a 40 dollar profit on that as well keep an eye out this did not have the box it was marked on the bottom of Minnie's foot and some of these crystal items can be super valuable and when i say that i mean hundreds into thousands of dollars for these next items. These are some Beatles trading cards. I got these in an online auction. I actually got a bunch of them for, I want to say about $30 and I separated them into the series they were from. So I actually had four different sets. I only have one set left. This set sold for $63.74 plus international shipping. The buyer was $83 and 74 cents all in and i paid less than five dollars for that and it will be over a fifty dollar profit these are little trading cards they are from the 1960s and i will tell you researching i learned that vintage beetles memorabilia can sell very very high i sold one small little doll for 160 dollars. i still have one of those left and it sold very fast so keep an eye out for beetles stuff while you're out next this was from my palette buys so i bought hundreds of these in palettes i have less than a dollar into it and this person bought four which is awesome and they sold the four of them for 59.96 plus shipping the buyer was 84 dollars and 68 cents all in on these and i will make well over a 50 dollar profit and i still have 100 left so if you happen to need a glove dryer for your gloves then i have them up next this is a white nike men's jordan shirt this was a shirt that was issued to the coaches and on the inside of the shirt it said c patrick which i learned was one of their athletic coaches and trainers and it did take a few months to sell i got offers right out of the like soon as i listed this for like 20 30 dollars and i just declined them and sometimes with reselling it's a matter of just waiting for the right person who is willing to pay the price you are asking for an item there were no other ones like this only one was ever issued to this person on the florida gators it was a size xl which is a good size i paid seven dollars and 99 cents for this at my little local thrift store and it sold for 74 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping the buyer was 88 dollars and 49 cents all in so this will be over a 65 dollar profit for us on one next shirt. this is a disney blanket i got this in a blanket lot i could see it was disney i could see it was cinderella but i couldn't see exactly what it was if you buy from online auctions you do know that sometimes they will take only one photograph and that is it which is what the case was here so when i look this up it was from 2011 it was cinderella's castle these were selling very high so this one i have less 
then a couple of bucks in and it sold for $74.99 plus shipping the buyers $91.34 all in. This is just your typical little like four foot by six foot throw. It was a fleece throw. The big thing was it was from 2011. It was Cinderella's Castle and there weren't that many available on the market. So that is well over a $65 profit. Don't, don't overlook throw blankets, guys. I make a lot of money on throw blankets of all different types and patterns and brands. If you can keyword and title, I think almost any throw blanket will sell on eBay. Up next, this is two vintage lawn chairs. I believe I had a vintage lawn chair in my last tie what sold. So these two I got for $2 and they sold for $54.99 plus shipping. The buyer was actually $120 all in. And these did take about six months to sell and that shipping was probably a lot. So with my bigger items, I always put calculated shipping and this person did live in California. So if it would have shipped to me, it only want to cost about 20 to $30, but to them it cost over $70. And that is not a markup. That is actually what it costs to ship these chairs out. Packing, <laughs> I keep getting asked about packing. I keep all of my big boxes from my Amazon I use subscribe and save for like multi quantity paper towels and toilet paper. I keep those boxes and they're very convenient for shipping out these bigger items. This is a beautiful pottery piece. I do love picking up pottery. This one was signed, but I couldn't make out the name. This is a 10 inch casserole dish, beautiful, like mid century modern abstract, you know, really nice purples and greens, which are some of my favorite pottery colors to pick up. I paid less than ten dollars for this it sold for a hundred dollars plus shipping the buyer was 124 all in and i will make over a 80 dollar profit on this pottery piece that it was signed but not by anybody that was recognized okay. and next this is a stat backpack and i did pay up for this i paid about 50 dollars, and it took a while to sell i still have two more and i'm kind of holding out somebody sent me a hundred dollar offer the other day and they're like look you've had this for months but i paid 50 dollars they are in California shipping will probably be about 40. So if I accept their hundred dollar offer, I actually will lose money and I am willing to wait rather than lose money. So this one sold for $130 shipping was about 30. So I still came away with about a $50 profit on this sale and the two other ones I can wait and hopefully find the right buyer. That's really next. This is a vintage Toshiba tv with a dvd player watch out for these whether they're new in the box or not this one was new in the box at a garage sale i paid 20 dollars for it it sold for 99 dollars plus shipping the buyer was actually 171.44 all in this was a heavy tv it also was in a box that was bigger than 12 by 12 by 12 which causes oversized shipping fees and i made about 70 dollar profit on that. this is a yadro figurine i did pay up for this i paid close to 40 dollars for it at the auction but it sold in less than two weeks for 135 dollars plus shipping the buyer was 174 all in yadro is a great brand to keep an eye out for. A lot of these pieces sell for hundreds of dollars. And if you happen to find some at the thrift store or at an estate sale that they are not aware what they have, you can Next. make a lot of money. This I paid just a couple bucks for, and I got this in a lot and I didn't even notice it was in the lot. This is a vintage mid-century modern brass bowl with a green patina. This was made in Israel. It was actually 12 inches tall and wide. And this one sold for $150 and it sold in under a month. So keep an eye out brass items, especially made in Israel with the screen patina cell, but regular brass items sell as well. And I made over $140 profit on one item. This is another auction buy so don't forget check out that membership below if you want me to help you find stuff like this this was a dessert plate a saucer and a cup and i was under five dollars in on this and i could not find this pattern and i knew i had like a cute little set and a lot of collectors like these three-piece sets and i priced high i priced it 150 dollars 
and I sent an offer out for 142. They accepted the buyer was 162 all in. This did go international. So we made over $130 profit. And these were not like even a dinner plate. It was like little um like dessert or bread plate plus the saucer in the cup. So keep an eye out for those breakables. And there actually aren't a ton of breakables in this high what sold video, but those are some of my better sales. Up next, for sure. and this just sold this morning. It's actually for little cups. They had dragonflies on them. A couple of high what sold ago, I sold a teapot for $150. I got these at the same thrift store, which is my little local thrift store here in my tiny town. So just because you live out in the middle of nowhere, don't think that you're not gonna find high valued items. So these four little cups I paid $4 for, they sold for $120 plus shipping the buyers $180 all in well over a hundred and twenty dollar profit on these and it only took about two and a half months to sell so keep an eye out stoneware dragonflies and really i look up any stoneware i use google lens to identify the maker of these they were not marked and yeah really great sale and actually the coffee mug just sold for forty dollars plus shipping so that was a sixty dollar sale that i did not put earlier in the video where it should have been but this dragonfly stuff i believe is all gone now and it was a great oh, next <laughs> this is some more ethan allen so i am almost out of my ethan allen furniture and i was asked if i'm going to do more i am more than willing to do more however ethan allen furniture is very hard to find at a low price where you can make a profit and sometimes it's a higher price and you still have plenty of room for profit. It's just whether you want to put that out. This is two dining room chairs. I actually only paid $20 for these. I picked up four for $40 and these sold for $250 plus shipping. I typically use freight. However, when I went and checked the quote on the freight for these chairs, it was $350. The buyer was in Cincinnati, Ohio. I am down here in Florida. And so I messaged the buyer and said, do you want me to try and put these in a box? Because I'll, you know, I've shipped wheelchairs. I will try and put these chairs in a box. And he said, actually, I have a FedEx account. If you can get these to a FedEx packing station, I will put the packing and the shipping on my FedEx corporate account. And that's what I did. So after work one night, I had thrown the chairs in my car. I just carried them into FedEx and I said, okay, my buyer said he called. The guy says, yeah, just drop them off. That's all you have to do. And I didn't have to touch these at all, which is the same with freight. When you ship furniture freight, they come, they will come in your house. They will pick it up. They wrap it with a blanket and safely get it to your buyer. And that's what happened with these, but via FedEx, not via freight. The last item was hanging on my kitchen wall for about three months. And this is definitely near the top of one of my most favorite items. This was an antique wooden ironing board that was hand painted. It was not hand painted by anybody famous. It was just a beautiful, beautiful barn scene. It looked amazing on my kitchen wall, but you know, it had to go. So I am on the hunt for something else amazing to hang on my kitchen wall. This one I paid $57 for in an auction. I could have beat myself. I missed by one minute the other ironing board that had a winter and snow scene with mountains. And I could have made a lot of money on that. And I missed out. So sometimes when you're busy watching auctions and buying stuff, you have to be really careful because it's easy to miss this stuff. And by miss it, like I just didn't bid in time, which sucks anyways. This one sold for $300 plus shipping. The buyer was $357.15 all in. You will see this ironing board on one of my thumbnails. And I did in the video where that is the thumbnail show exactly how I packed this and shipped it via FedEx. So this is over a $200 profit. Took a few months to sell, but great profit. I can't, I, I would want to say I'm glad it's gone, but I'm not really glad it's gone because I thought it looked amazing on my wall. So it is Sunday. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. We will be live on Tuesday with DLJ from PA and Shad Juice 
and we have some amazing guests coming up here in the next few weeks. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. Dalton is calling me. I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.